Hey guys, it's me, Ella. Welcome back to my channel. Just like many of you guys, I am stuck at home right now on quarantine, whatever you want to call it. And I'm not supposed to be leaving my house. But as you know, it can get quite boring with nothing to do at home. So today I thought I would try painting to keep me busy and maybe start a new hobby. So if you want to see that, then just keep on watching. So I went to the craft store and I bought all the supplies that you'll need for painting. So I bought a bunch of canvases. This is seven, so I better become a pro painter with these. I bought paintbrushes and like every kind you can think of. There's 20 brushes in here and of course, you need paint to do this. I'm not very good at painting, just a disclaimer. I've never done painting lessons or anything like that before, but I'm just gonna do this for fun and hopefully you enjoy and maybe you try to paint something too because it's actually very fun. I'm just going to open up these canvases. And we're going to get, we're going to start painting. Okay. There's my canvas. I feel like Jenna Marbles, like she always does these like random crafts and painting videos and she just does them for fun. And I just really like that. So let's open my paint brushes. I think I have every paintbrush I could ever need. I don't even know what half these are for, but they look very cool. Okay, so the, the painting I had in mind to do is to paint the whole thing like a sky. I'm not sure if I, I think I'm gonna do it horizontal actually. So paint the whole thing blue and put like clouds and make it like a sky and then paint a monarch butterfly I thought that'd be really cute and then I can hang it up in my room and I think it'll just be super fun so I've got this pale blue and I think I'm just gonna swoop it on with this um, looks like a sky color to me so we're just gonna put some all over the canvas and we're gonna start painting <gasps> This is so fun. I love painting. I think I need a lot more paint. Painting is just so fun because it's not too hard and you can just be creative with it. You don't have to be a good artist to have fun while painting. And oh, I just love that sound of the brushes. That sound? Oh, so it's like ASMR. Oops. This is looking pretty good so far, I guess. You can't really mess up. All I did was paint the whole thing blue. The good thing about this paint is it that it dries super quickly. So I don't have to like, you know, wait five hours before I can add more paint so I'm just gonna add a little bit more so that it's nice and blue that might have been a lot of more but you know whatever let's okay so there we have all the blue done and then I thought we could add a little bit of dark blue around the edges. Okay, now we're gonna dab on this around the edges. Make a nice little border. I think that looks pretty okay to me. Now I need to make the clouds. Okay, my paint's not dry. That is probably gonna be a problem. I guess this paint doesn't dry as fast as I thought it did. So I'm gonna have to wait and let this dry and then 
I'll come back to paint the rest. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes, I'd say, and it's a lot more dry, so I'm gonna try and paint the clouds now. So I'm just gonna paint a white line to be the bottom of the cloud. And I'm not sure how big they should be, but that's about a good size, I'd say, for myself. I'm gonna look up a tutorial, actually, because I don't know how to do this. So the tutorial said to take your brush and just, we'll make a new cloud right here. And it says to just make these squiggly cloud shapes, I guess. Okay, so I did that all wrong. So let's try this. So now we're gonna take some light blue with a little bit of a lighter color. So I'm just gonna use the same color I used for the sky. And I'm going to brush it on top. But she said only, not all the way just on the top parts and now I'm going to take the white and put that on top okay that looks so much more like a cloud I'm going to take the sponge because I think it gives it a cool texture and sponge the rest of it on I'm going to try and fix this one at the bottom. I think all I really have to do is add some of this blue to the bottom. Oh, I kind of like that better than that cloud. This cloud looks like a rainy storm cloud. I'm going to add a lot of white. There we go. That looks a lot better. You learn something new every day. So now I'm gonna repeat that all around the canvas. Okay, I think my best cloud may be this one. But they're all unique and that makes them special. We like special clouds. And I think I'm actually gonna do what I did on these clouds and just add a tiniest bit of outline just to define the shape. I think my clouds look pretty good and I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how they turned out if I'm being honest I did not know if they were gonna look like that or not but I think it looks good okay so the middle of my painting is dry so that means I can start sketching out the butterflies so I'm gonna go grab a pencil okay so I just cut out my stencil so now I'm gonna trace it so that I have a perfectly symmetrical butterfly. Ta-da, I have a butterfly and he is sort of symmetrical. So I need my yellow, I'm not yellow, butterflies are orange. Okay. It's very hard to mix the perfect color, but I think I made one that's close enough. So we'll start. Painting it on. Even though, you know, my painting is not turning out like an artist, you know, like a prose maybe, I still think that it's pretty good, especially for not being an artist at all. And, you know, I'm having fun doing it, so I guess that's what's important. I'm trying to be like those satisfying videos where they like paint all crazy and then they go like this. And they get it like right in the perfect line. I don't know, I think I'm kind of doing that. Comment down below if my if my painting skills are satisfying or very unsatisfying. <laughs> okay, so there is 
the orange. It's pretty much done. I have to let this dry so that I can come back and do all the black lines on the butterfly. Okay, so it's been like 15 minutes and the orange has dried. So it's time for the finishing touches, which is the black. So I need to find another paintbrush for this. I'll just use the same one that I used for the white. And pour out some black. And basically, you have to draw all these little like ovals and then color in the edges black and then add white dots on top. So first thing I'm gonna do black is the middle right there because like that's the easiest to not mess up I feel like. Okay so now here to here has to be black. Now I'm going to do the outline. Okay, that's kind of, kind of even. So now I'm just going to draw some ovals. And I'm just kind of guessing on where to put them because they're all going to look different. And I don't know how far out to go. I think I'll do one more row or whatever. I think that's enough and then paint the rest black. Okay, now I have to draw the bottom, which I think it will be fine because I just did the first part and it wasn't that bad. Oh, I almost forgot I have to draw the antennas. Okay, so there's only one step left and it's to paint on the white dots all along the black parts. Put little white dots there, but I have to wait for the black to dry first. But once I do that, my painting will be done. So the black has dried and now we just have to paint on the small little white dots, which isn't that hard. You just kind of do them random. So I got the paint brush and I'm just gonna do it like this start dotting away I feel like you can't really mess this up watch as I mess it up okay so I think that is enough dots for me so I think that the painting is done okay guys so that is the end of the video I hope you liked that fun little paint with me video. Here's the finished thing painting up close and I don't think it's awful and I think it looks better on camera than it does in person so that's a plus. Hopefully this video inspired you to do something productive or just something other than just laying around watching TV or going on your phone during this break. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe down below and give it a like, comment some video suggestions that you have, and I'll see you in another video. Bye!